the melee attacks on Bo are powerful, but most people ignore them. I know, with everything else you have to juggle in order to play Bo competently, and the high damage you can achieve through your fully charged shots, it's easy to forget about some of the more basic attacks that the Bo has. But there are a few great reasons to take a closer look at these melee attacks. First, you never have to sharpen. Second, your attacks never bounce. Third, one of these melee attacks is also a counter that has some of the best invincibility in the game. Fourth, you can cut the tails a lot easier than using Butcher's Bind. Fifth, well, this list is really long, and I actually already made a really good video breaking down all the awesomeness of Melee Bow. So you should definitely go watch that one for all the technical details. What I want to do in this video is show you my updated build for Sunbreak and point out a couple nice attacks that the new build allows you to do. So check this out. The bow I'm using is Gorboza Bow. Yep, the highest damage bow in the game. Sure, its charge levels kind of suck, but we don't care about that. We're using the melee attacks. And look at the slots. It's got 421 and a rampage slot level 3. That means we can use the Kushala skill for more affinity. Yeah, the fourth charge level is only spread 3, but we're not even going to unlock the fourth charge level. But pay attention to the third charge level, Rapid Level 3. That one is important, and I'll talk more about that in just a minute. Now, let's look at the build. Attack boost, I maxed it out because I have a great talisman for it. Critical eye, as much of this as I can get, because the bow has zero affinity built in. Resuscitate, that one pairs with Bubbly Dance down below. Gives us more attack and more iframes. The playstyle uses a lot of evades, so Bubbly Dance is a natural fit for boosting your damage. Crit boost and weakness exploit because they're just awesome. Recovery speed because I had extra slots. Windproof is on accident. Evade extender for the mobility. Part breaker synergizes with blood right down below for the health leech. It's also going to make those tails pop off quicker. Flinch free because now even more people will be shooting me in the back. And leap of faith because I had the slot and well, bow defense just plain sucks. Wire bug whisper is a bonus too. Now, do you have to use these skills for melee bow to work well? Of course not. What you'll definitely need to do though, is make sure you have as much attack and affinity as you can get, no matter how you go about getting it. The playstyle is fairly basic, and we're going to be attacking non-stop, even during our evades. So the more we can boost damage, the better. These are the switch skills I'm using. Dodgebolt is the crown jewel. It's gonna keep us alive and do a huge percentage of the damage. No need for absolute power shot since it doesn't affect our melee attacks. No need for stake thrust since we're not going to be shooting many arrows. And the melee damage on it pales in comparison to the melee attack. Aerial aim has a huge melee attack at the end of it. And the shot itself is pretty high damage. A lot of people like to incorporate this one into the mix. Now, remember when I said that rapid level 3 was important? Well, this is one reason why. Aerial aim is a great way to avoid an attack while still being able to punish your target. And the melee attack on the way down is very satisfying. Finally, Herculean Draw is where we'll use most of our wire bugs. The attack boost that this gives is too good to pass up. Keep this refreshed at all times. As for coatings, load your close range coatings and keep it there. These give an amazing boost to melee attacks. It's what they were designed for. What food do I eat? Right now, I'm using Shifter, Moxie, and Booster, but honestly, I didn't put a lot of thought into this part, so you can probably come up with something better. Let me know in the comments when you do. So as you'll see in this gameplay footage, I have no problem overcoming Frenzy using this playstyle. No problem triggering Kushala. No problem triggering Bubbly Dance. The damage output is high enough, and the attacks are fast enough that you won't have trouble using a lot of these types of skills. Now, one more thing about that Rapid 3 shot. I mentioned using it on the aerial aim, but there's one more way to take advantage of it. The shot after a successful dodgebolt counter. If you hear the dodgebolt counter ding, you can follow it up with a shot using the right trigger. The shot will be fully charged because of the counter, and you will have a better chance of all three arrows hitting your target for full damage due to the fact that it's rapid shot type and you have your close range coatings enabled. The shot should do as much damage as your melee attacks. That rapid three shot ironically is the main reason I believe Gorboza Bow was put in the game specifically for melee builds. 
Now, I just need a bit more practice to really make it shine. That's the build, folks. This is my first test of the set, and I managed to beat Shagaru without much trouble and no carts. I even popped the tail off and got a mantle. I'd love to hear your thoughts on how I can make this set even better. If you liked the video, click the thumbs up if you're into that sort of thing. Leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. More cool stuff on the way.